my first fill up with diesel. <laughs> Still going. So when you're 50 pounds overweight, you fix it the only way an American can. We went from an F-150 over here to an F-450 dually over there. Problem solved. Oh, the life of being on the road. So I had to stop by Discount Tire to get some new tires for this truck. I went to the one on Memorial Drive. There's a guy there named Joseph, who's the guy I've been talking to all week. Only he's not the guy I've been talking to all week. He is a different guy entirely and had no idea who I was. No, you want to go to the one over here on this other place, six miles away. Which is actually funny because he said you want to go to the one on Kenosha. And uh, being from Wisconsin for the past 10 years, Kenosha, Wisconsin from Tulsa, Oklahoma area. I ain't doing that today. No, 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 no. Kenosha Drive. All right, fine. So we get over to Kenosha Drive. Joseph is there. The real Joseph this time. And he's got my tires. So they're in the back. You can see him back there. And now we got to go back to Memorial Drive where I just was to get them installed because they don't do commercial tire installations here at this location. <sighs> Fun stuff. Already full. And of course, even though it's already full, I ordered more stuff from Amazon. This truck has these really cool metal trays to put stuff on in the floor so you don't mess up your carpet. And they tuck under the seats, but they're gonna be in the way of putting the floor mats down, so let's get them out of the way. The carpet in here is in pretty good shape, but we wanna keep it in good shape. This little DeWalt vacuum is pretty awesome too. It uses those same batteries for the DeWalt 20 volt or 60 volt max tools. And then here we go, to protect it, we're getting these WeatherTech floor mats. I've used these WeatherTech floor mats before in a Jeep Cherokee that I had, and they are fantastic. Up in Wisconsin, you're always tracking in snow and ice and water and stuff, and they just hold it instead of letting the carpet get soaked. And then the underlayment under the carpet, the padding gets soaked, and then the car starts to smell, and these things take care of that problem. But when we were looking online, we thought that the truck that we bought was missing a hook on the floor, but it's not. It only comes with one hook on the floor. So the WeatherTech mats take advantage of having that one hook to keep it from moving back and forth. That little hook right there. All right, might have to take that bolt out to get the center console out. And then there are two more down in here. All right, I wound up taking out this other one over here in addition to that one so that I could slide the center console back. Let's see if that's enough. It's already underneath and it's sitting nice and flush. Can we do it without cutting? So there is that little hook that holds it from moving forward and that was built into the car already and the weather tuck took care of that. And then this thing is custom molded all around the front and we just slid it right underneath there. Might have been better to cut it, but we'll see how it works out. Looks pretty good. And then there's the one for the back seat. That one was pretty easy to get in. No sweat at all. And there she is with the seats down. Looks pretty good. Like it was custom designed for this truck. Because it was. And then they are not in the way at all of the luggage rack, whatever you want to call those things. These seat bolts here are safety items, so make sure you check out your torque specs and use your torque wrenches, folks. So that's the WeatherTech floor mat install. There is a link in the description down below. I got these things off of Amazon. I shipped them to the next campsite I was going to. We just got here today. We got them installed. Just as easy as that. Sometimes campsites are a little busy and a little noisy. The one that we stayed at in Oklahoma, Sequoia State Park, was filled with children. Children are wonderful. They're more wonderful when they're yours and not somebody else's. And the campsite was a little tiny bit noisy. Just a little tiny bit. It's not bad, it's just a thing. And so we stayed at another campsite as we moved farther up the road. And that one was very quiet, very peaceful, very nice. It was so quiet and so peaceful and so nice that we forgot to do anything besides just sit there and enjoy the solitude. And you need that every so often.
Let's take a look at this campsite. It's actually a pretty neat little campsite. It smells old in here. But that's not really a problem. Because I'd kind of expect it to smell old in here. I'd be shocked if it didn't. Storage area down there. Cabinet. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. With an old light socket in the ceiling. And all the fresh water you can drink. My sleeping area. And a kitchen area too. My head hits the ceiling because it's a little over, well, a little under six foot tall in here. Don't forget it's got air conditioning. and security. These are in the for sale position, as you can see on the window there, for sale. These are pretty cool old campers, I like them. Pretty cool. So that was Arrowhead Point in Osceola, Missouri. And from there we went to Osceola, Iowa. I got one more thing for the truck from that big Amazon shipment. Check that out. It is a windshield mounted cell phone holder with inductive charging. So it still plugs in. The little motorized arms on the side are activated by pushing that button, which happens when you put the phone on. And then there's a button on each side to open it up. Pretty slick. We stayed at a harvest host for the first time ever. Stay tuned next for that video coming up on the channel.